Yeah. Like I went, I took like the last like swig. Of, it was in my cup, and it went down the wrong pipe, and it just went <laughs> violently exploded across the kitchen. Right. Yeah. Okay, mine's this way. Do you have to do something here? Or you just go into your ship. Uh, I think I just go to my ship. I'll uh, I'll come with you to get yours. I dare say you have to fight. And mine's just there, I think. Yeah. Now I am stealing the ship, right? Yes. All right, yes, there. Disgusting pile of puke. That's fine. Your weapon and kiss the floor. <laughs> oh, it's birdie. <laughs> This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? I'm not here to steal anything. Honest. Better that thought had gone through your filthy, sub-intelligent brain before you stepped through that door. I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Karakimi, a nikag nikag, kaniak gak akiguamjam. You heard the man? At him! Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but all these people oh. behind us. Kill them all. I don't think so. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but I don't think I have to. Heavy armor, that's all you got, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, I can't see it. Why? Oh, I mean, go. Um, that is me, but it is not as good, so put on your bed. I'll greet it. You got them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't, well, that's a, that's a problem. That was a problem with the loot system, is you can't not roll on something. You, know, you can't decline. Yeah, you just click on the right hand corner, I think. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could. Yeah, you know the cross? Yeah, the X. And just exit. Is that better than what she's wearing? 153 armor. 7 aim. Better. Nail. It would appear you did have to kill nearly everything. Apparently. 
Is that you going on your ship? Yeah, I think that's it. Rewiring it. Rules or no rules. Taro blood dies Hang the next on. time we see him. the door. Yep. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be all right. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? That was my doorbell going off. Mailman? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody putting something through. Right, well, you kicked me out anyway, so... Did it. I'll go and do mine now. <laughs> well, I still have to do my conversation. Yeah, I put me on my ship. Yeah. Well, luckily, mine was just around the corner from where your entrance was. Oh, and I got a new companion. Which one do you get? Uh, the robot on your ship. Oh, yeah, of course. Ooh, mine's nice. Yeah? Yeah. It doesn't look like a freaking flying piece of garbage. No. It's very nice, very stealthy. That's the best looking ship I've seen so far, that. Really? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm on. Travel. Okay, so we have a choice. To go wherever we want, whichever one we want, right? Yeah, I'm just doing my uh, talking to the robot bit. I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. So I get a starship and a servant too. Not bad at all. I am relieved, uh, uh, pleased that you find me agreeable. I will well, never space you, I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, <clears> including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, oh, that's right. I forgot. That's how you get there. and etiquette. Welcome aboard the X-70B Phantom, an experimental prototype resembling a luxury shuttle that conceals the combat capabilities of a heavy starfighter. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Stop carrying some of stuff now. Stop selling me the ship and stay out of my way. I promise to limit all future conversation to essential information. Premature deactivation is not one of my directives. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. You still there? You are ready yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm just listening to the conversation. Map on your oh, okay. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates. And activate the He's engine. Still rubbing it on the robot. <clears throat> right, there we go. Right, uh, holo terminal. Right, got to do that. Nice digs. Think you got a message on that thing. Download and begin playback. Cipher 9, intelligence is finalizing your target list, but in the meantime, there's a formality we need to address. With Darth Jadis's demise, his seat on the Dark Council has opened. It will be filled by his daughter and sole apprentice, Darth Jorid. 
Jadis has a daughter? Lord Jordan demands to meet with you. Proceed to Korriban at once. She has authorized your presence in the Sith Academy. What are the odds she blames me for her father's assassination? I'll give you two to one. You know how to make friends in high places. Give me a shout if you need something. I'm gonna see how they stock the lounge. Okay, I've gotta to go to Korriban. <laughs> you have to go to Korriban? Yeah. Flight Commander Pyru, and you have a ship, I see. Excellent. The Republic grows bolder. Their attack squadrons ambush Imperial targets and disappear into open space. We're struggling to compete. Why would the Republic risk war over these space skirmishes? Open warfare's just around the corner. They're likely probing us for weaknesses, readying for battle. I've scrambled the Cast 23rd and Dreadwing, but it's not enough. We're forming an exclusive response squadron, the Empire's Fury. Considering your impressive skills, I hoped you would serve as squadron leaders. All right, tell me what to do. Appreciate it, sir. Your call sign will be Night Shrike. Okay, so we're going to four band. Yeah, when I finish this. Alone, while the rest I of the squadron assists throughout <laughs> the galaxy. Another. Strike with fury. Strike for the Empire. Must be a quest. Yeah, it is. Space combat. Yeah, I get that as well. Oh, Corban. You got to go to Corban. Yeah, I've got to go to yeah. Uh... Corban. No, I don't know. I don't want the space thing. Corriban. Trouble. Where the hell how do you get off this thing? <laughs> oh, there it is. Why can't I leave the ship? Oh, kelly has got a thing for me. So we're clear. Imperial rations are nasty. And I lived on grubs and two credit wine for Not a year. Not ready yet. Why can't they I leave They raise the ship? you on those things. No wonder you're a bunch of stiffs. Imperial rations are designed for human biology. Oh, there's lagging. Oh, That's what it was. Right. Yeah, well, I'm not eating what you feed slaves. Here's what I don't get. You got a little brass, you got a little style. Yeah, you mine talked to me as well. Them, but you still play Keeper's Pet. Shoot all the right people when you could work for... Huh. Whoever. You've seen the people trying to destroy us. The Republic. Terrorists. Traitors. Someone needs to stop them. You're serious? Huh. <laughs> That's sweet. Me? I'm in long enough to lay low, pick up some cash, sort out some personal stuff you guys can help with. Then I'm gone. What sort of personal stuff? Made a deal with your bosses when I came on board. Nothing you need to worry about. Now let's get back to it before the world misses us. Okay. Minus one point again. Why were the ships confusing? <laughs> minus one point again? How'd you get minus one point? I don't know. I got so, 45. I said the wrong thing at the wrong time again. How the hell did you get out of this place? <laughs> Alright, that's it, Nate. We'll have to stop playing this game. I can't even get off the ship. <laughs> Why did you playing Star Wars? Because we couldn't get off the damn ship. 
this is all right i'm starting to get slightly anxious now you should have a map of the ship yes i've got a map of the ship I I should search the door that. yeah i can see it on the map the exit but i can't get off <laughs> i can't find it I found everything else. What's that there? I don't know. Oh, there it is. I was going blind. The big door lights up blue. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was only a big blue door. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I really do surprise myself sometimes. Right. I think I'm at the right spot. Coraban orbit orbital station. Yeah, I'm on the orbital station right now. Yeah, I'm at the shuttle to go down yeah, to... Yeah, I can see you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm coming. So, Corriban proper? Yeah, Corriban. Tell you what, while we're here, come over here. Oh, I'm those things are here, aren't they? Yeah. What for endurance here? Oh, she's in the Sith uh, palace thingy. An Ewok. An Ewok. Never seen that before. Oh, uh, yeah, neither. Must be one of these pets that doesn't do anything, surely. Or maybe I get an Ewok. She looks like uh, a smuggler, doesn't she? Yeah. There's a thing here. To grab it for teleporting. steps Nick. Nick. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowly running up the steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we have to go on this lift. You gonna get crushed? New <laughs> grenades are them guys. Oh dear. I despair of some people. <laughs> Our society at its finest. Oh, I've never been in this place before. 